do you watch? Have I asked you? Do you watch AGDQ and SGDQ and stuff? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, did you? Because, like this year when they were uh, putting, like, what was it? Actually, one of my donations was read this year. Oh, was it? Yeah, uh, oh. during Super Mario RPG. Really? Yeah. I missed that because I watched like pretty much the entire HDQ. Yeah. No, I did too. It was any chance that I had, I was watching it. Um. But yeah, um, because they were they were were they mashing up? They were either mashing up Guile's theme with something or the Space Jam theme with something. Mm, I miss that. And it's like if you try hard enough. Like, Guile's theme is, like, everyone's kind of common knowledge. It fits with, like, everything. Mm -hmm. But, like, Space Jam, if you try hard <laughs> enough, it'll work. That's awesome. I think Guile's theme is is the the theme that you can mash up with anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember this fucking part. Uh, with the, yeah, you have to push the boxes around. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a little bit further. Yeah, there's something down it's under puzzle, this, yeah. this hole. But I don't think there's anything under... I don't think there is another hole. No, I think it's just the one. Okay. When I was playing through on PlayStation... Or is that a hole there? See, I would just jump over the whole thing and just say, fuck it. But, uh... Alright. Yeah, actually, uh, this year at... Uh, HEDQ, I didn't... Do you know who Blue Glass is? Yes, the guy who, kind who of. Speed, speed ran Echo the Dolphin... I think that was 2012. I don't... I haven't seen no, any... No, 2013. Just, I don't know if I've actually seen Blue Glass speedrun. I've never seen him, like, he doesn't have, like, a channel or a Twitter or anything like yeah. that. Like, he's, he's just always at AGDQ and SGDQ. I you, think it's AGDQ he's always at. You just know he's there when he laughs. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> there is a Twitter... I think it's, like, a, a, a troll Twitter account, and it's called Yellow Shirt Guy. <laughs> and it's like a picture of, of Blue Glass in the crowd, and he's wearing like this yellow shirt. <laughs> but um, he he speed ran Echo the Dolphin the one year. And that was the first year that, that I watched. And he speed ran Echo the Dolphin, and then at the end of that year, so do you know who Spike Vegeta is? The guy? Oh, yeah. 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 So Spike Vegeta was like, shout outs to Blue Glass, because he was here like every hour of mm -hmm. every. Like, he was there like nonstop. I don't think. He, I don't know. If Blue Glass sleeps or what it is, but he's there on stream. Like, you can hear him laughing in the background through, yeah. like, every game. Like, he never leaves. I, I don't understand how he, he's just a stream champ. Yeah. He's there through every video game. I always, I'm just like, where's Blue Glass? I got you. Yeah. Wait, oh, there he is. Oh, thank God he's there. Um, did you watch uh, Big John? Big John. He did uh, Super Mario Lost Levels. Or technically Japanese Super Mario Brothers. Was TV. he the fellow with the, the the beard and the hat? Like he had like a ball cap and a beard. And no, the, no. He was a what very kid? huge black man. Oh no! He, and like that was honestly for me that was. Like oh the, yeah, never mind. Yeah, yeah. That, for me, that yet. was like the highlight yeah. of the whole week. And yeah. like his 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 streams are pretty awesome. He took he he was like early in the morning. No, days. he was late. Was he late? Yeah, it was because I was, wa I was watching. It was a Mario block. It was anticipation for Kaizo, mm -hmm. and so was, like he was on, and then it was just like this guy has like the best personality. Oh yes, right. Yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, his <laughs> his streams are fun because like he does Mario. Um, he's learning Majora's Mask, and he mm -hmm. does. He's done Resident Evil. He actually, he speedruns a, what was it, U.S. golf tournament or something like that? <laughs> Just something random? Yeah. He has, like, the, the world, world record, record yeah, in of like, course. all the all the uh, courses in that game and stuff. That's awesome. Um, but he also, like, he's a programmer in, like, real life. Mm. And he, like, he, he's programmed stuff for Caleb Hart. Mm -hmm. And I think... Try hacks, maybe I can't remember, mm -hmm. but um, he uh, he programmed a uh, Price is Right game to play with Twitch chat. Nice. So like, he like that's pretty sweet. It's like the first however many people comment. It's like he can get like up to sixty. Mm -hmm. And the first time I watched his stream was like right after AGDQ. So like he had picked up he picked up like six or seven thousand 
uh, followers. Just from AGDQ? Just from AGDQ. Nice. That's pretty sweet. Um, it's always good to see shit like that. Yeah, definitely. You know, I was watching something the other day, and I was like, fuck, that's awesome for that guy. I can't remember who it was, though. I was like, I've been kind of following him since the start, and then I just checked in like to see how his channel is doing, see yeah. what his new content was, and he had like 10,000 more followers. I was like, fuck, that's fucking awesome. It's yeah. always awesome when you see stuff like that. Uh, see, giant beehive. There's their oh, great. More bees. Not the bees! Not the bees! <laughs> but yeah, you, uh, you just like punch in your name to the, like, the Twitch chat, and then he has like 60 spots or whatever, and then like it like randomizes and picks whoever. <laughs> That's really cool. And then you like play, there's like, you know, four people at once or whatever, mm -hmm. and you play the prices right with Big John, and like you type in your answers and he like reads them off and punches them in. Oh, that's really cool. It's super cool, and like I was like laughing the whole time because <laughs> it was just so crazy, but it was awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. But uh, yeah, I love I love watching his streams. Yeah. But uh, uh yeah, I, I watch mostly him. I watch Spike Vegeta, Caleb Hart, Trihex. Yeah. Um. I don't mean to watch Domelix because he's the guy that won Mega Man X Race this year, I think. Mm. Yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh, spider. shit. That's great. Um, oh! Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, nope, die. He's not dead, is he? Nope. Now he's something dead. weird, yeah. No, okay. he's dead. Um, but yeah, like, uh, I've been meaning to watch his streams for a while now. Uh, who else do I watch? Do you, Fuck, I don't know. The first year that I watched it, uh, Spike Vegeta and Poexel did Final Fantasy IX speedrun. Oh, yeah. And Final Fantasy IX is my favorite video game of all time. And uh, There's those... a video you should watch then. Um, Alex Fasciani. Yeah. No, I oh, watched have that. Have you seen that? Yeah, okay. I did, yeah. Uh, I thought it was good. He he rambles a little bit too much. Yeah. But, yeah, he, he had really, really... It was kind of like a, a really, really personal story of why he loves yeah. Final Fantasy IX so much, but... Yeah, some of it was kind of a little bit long-winded, but yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. But uh, yeah, they, that was my first year watching. So that would have been twenty thirteen. Okay. Or was it twenty twelve? I'm I think not that, sure. I think twenty third. No, twenty twelve. I think was also the first year I watched. Yeah. It's nice because on YouTube they have all the archives. Yeah. Which is awesome. Um, but yeah, that was the first year that I watched, and the the biggest highlight for me out of all of it was definitely the Final Final Fantasy Nine run because it was like the Nine run on the Thursday or something like that, or the Friday, and then on the Sunday to close out the whole AGDQ. The finale was the ending of Final Fantasy Nine. I think oh, it was yeah. discs three and four. Wow. And yeah, yeah, it was totally well. Disc three is is a little bit long, but disc four is like that's the end of the game. You're yeah. right at the end of the game. So, okay. but yeah, that was the the first time that I watched it. And then this past year, uh, it was uh, Sinister One and Mike Uyama running. No, that was what year was that? Because Mike Uyama wasn't at this one because he was sick. Was Sinister that must Run have been the guy last that did um... Mike Tyson's Punch Out Blindfolded? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I watch his stream. He's fucking. He did Ninja Gaiden passive. Oh wow! So he played through the original NES Ninja Gaiden without killing anybody but the bosses. My God. Yeah, it took him like twenty minutes. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that was, that mine... was another highlight though. Was the 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 relay race Ninja yeah. Gaiden? That was awesome. Oh, yeah, those are so cool. Um, what am I doing in here? A buddy of mine, he played through Ninja Gaiden, and it took him, like, two years just to, like, beat the game, and he's like, I finally did it. And I was like, dude, I hate to break your heart, <laughs> I have a but video I just, for you to watch. yeah, I've got a video for you to watch, and he's just like, ah, fuck you, man. Why did you ever show this yeah. to me? <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I, in my domain, in my donation that, it was Spike Vegeta who actually read it out, too, and I was like, well, this is, like, such a fucking huge honor. Mm -hmm. from mine to be read on stream by Spike Vegeta, but uh, I had mentioned that 
watching these people play these video games, some of my favorite video games, especially so well, makes me think that I can't play video games at all. Yeah. And that is like that still holds true in my statement because I watched people play like Crash Bandicoot too, and that's one of my favorite games from like my childhood. Yeah. And I watched them play it, and I was like, I can't even fucking play video games like this. <laughs> yeah. This is ridiculous. That's like every time I watch a Sonic two. <sighs> yeah. Because it's just like I I love that game. It was like that's my childhood. And then these guys are just they just plow through it. it, and that's it. Yeah, it's like Ugh. fuck. Like, like I was never a b- big Mario guy. This... Like NES Mario's or Super Mario World. Like I never really like I played them because mm-hmm. that was like those were the games to play, right? Yeah. But I was never really big into it. But then you watch these guys play those games, and you're like, holy fuck! Like th- these games shouldn't even be able to be released if people were like that. We're going to be playing it. Yeah. Like, you watch someone like uh, Trihex play Yoshi's Island. And it's it's, just like, it's a thing of beauty when that is. guy plays that game. Who's who's his buddy with the glasses? Who oh, lives? Carl Sagan. Yeah, yeah, Sagan. Yes, right. Yeah, that's nuts too. Watching watching those two even just talk about it or play yeah. it at all is like holy fuck. As uh, who someone call them Grandpa and Grandma? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of the Yoshi's Island community. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. 